You're watching Chasing News with Bill Spadia. Welcome back. Coming up in just a moment, what one school superintendent said that has parents furious and the NAACP involved. Plus, one thing you could do to get better results from your workout. But first, New Jersey Transit on the defensive again. This time, after major delays and cancellations Monday night, wreaking havoc on commuters traveling in and out of New York Penn Station. Riders were trapped for hours, and as Jane Burnett reports in tonight's commuter check, they made their opinions known at the station today and all over social media. Crowds seen trying to board NJ Transit trains Monday night, and clearly nothing was happening quickly, at least not at the station. But on social media, riders were moving fast. One commuter saying, this is absolutely unacceptable, and on a day where you can't even blame weather. Another tweeting, what kind of insane event could have happened that would cause such chaos and endanger so many lives in the year 2020? And the complaints just kept coming. Check out this post comparing Monday night's mess to the Iowa caucus debacle. Inside New York Penn Station Tuesday, more frustration. It does happen frequently, yeah. It'd be nice if it didn't, but it's what it is. New Jersey Transit provided other travel options Monday night, including cross-honoring with PATH, but had little to say until late Tuesday afternoon when the agency's customer advocate released this video. Our trains were severely delayed into and out of New York Penn Station because of a power problem in the south tube of the Hudson River tunnels. We know you had a trip last night that was significantly longer than normal, and we're sorry for the severity of the disruption. Our region is dependent on two tunnels into and out of New York Penn Station, which is a lot like a superhighway narrowing down to a two-lane road. I spoke with this rider as soon as the video came out. It was pretty frustrating, you know, it was like four hours of just sitting here and just waiting and waiting and waiting and then I just was officially fed up with it. Meanwhile, Amtrak blamed power issues, but like New Jersey Transit said, having aging infrastructure and only two tunnels are a huge part of the problem. At New York Penn Station, I'm Jane Burnett for Chasing News.